After months of preparing to sell a product with Amazon FBA, the most disappointing thing that can happen to you is that you start selling and your sales just aren't where you expect them to be. Or even worse, they're non-existent altogether. But do not lose hope just yet, because in my experience, sales underperformance can usually be very easily explained. And in many circumstances, fixed and improved. One thing to ensure before taking any measures to increase your sales on Amazon is to actually confirm that demand exists for your product. Remember that shoppers on Amazon are typically, they're searching for a product that they already have in mind. So selling a product that has no demand because customers just aren't searching for it is going to mean that your sales will always be low no matter what you do. So log on to Amazon, search for the product that you're selling and then run Helium 10's x-ray tool. Once the results have loaded, you should check that there are at least five different listings that are all selling the amount that you're expecting or hoping to make. Doing this might seem really obvious, but it's an essential step to take, especially as it could reveal that your product is seasonal or that demand in general for it has dropped. And that would immediately explain why you're making lower sales than you expect. As soon as you've confirmed that the product that you're selling on Amazon still has demand, and that the level of sales that your competitors are making are higher than yours, you can then move on to diagnosing and hopefully solving the problem, which in all likelihood is to do with what sells your product your listing. The first step to take when looking to improve your Amazon sales is to check whether your product's listing is actually being seen by customers that are browsing on Amazon. If the listing isn't visible to customers, then it doesn't matter how good your product is, it's not going to be bought. To check whether your listing is being seen by customers, log into Seller Central, go into Reports, and then Business Reports. You can then browse to the Sales and Traffic tab and there you'll be presented with a table that shows you the total number of sessions or views that your listing is getting each day. If this number is really small, perhaps just a couple of views per day, then that straight away gives you the answer as to why your sales are low, because shoppers aren't seeing what you're selling. To fix this, you'll need to first ensure that your listing contains all the keywords that customers are most frequently using when they're searching for your product on Amazon. As a starting point, in order to find these, you can brainstorm possible keywords associated with your product niche, check competitor listings, and see what Amazon's autocomplete suggests in its search bar. To really take it up a level and ensure that your listing includes the very best keywords, I'd recommend using a keyword research tool like Helium 10's Cerebro or Magnet Tools. And both of these will suggest the best keywords for you to incorporate directly into your listing, which will hopefully get you seen by more customers. Once you've got your list of keywords, make sure that you paste them into the keyword section in the back end of your listing and then make sure that you've included them as frequently as possible within your listing's title, bullet points, and description. Doing this should ensure that Amazon correctly understands what it is that you're selling and shows it to customers for relevant search terms. When writing your Amazon product listing, don't be tempted to jam in as many keywords as you can into your title, bullet points and description. Remember that everything that you write has to make sense to the person reading it. If it doesn't, it's likely to confuse your customer and put them off from buying from you, which is going to reduce your conversion massively and result in Amazon not showing you on the front page of any search results whatsoever. If you're stuck for ideas of what to write in your title or anywhere else, check out your competitors for inspiration or hire an expert to do it for you. Whilst having a listing that contains the best keywords is certainly going to help you get more views and hopefully sales in the long term, you also need to take advantage of Amazon's advertising tools in order to showcase your product to as many people as possible. If you're just starting out and you're not running any advertising campaigns, then you'll want to get one set up as soon as possible 
because that will almost certainly explain your lack of sales. To stop you getting overwhelmed and making expensive mistakes, my recommendation is to start with an automatic campaign. And that's a way that allows you to start advertising on Amazon without having to worry about choosing the right keywords or playing with keyword bid prices. To set an advertising campaign up on Amazon, head into Amazon's advertising console, select create campaign, and then choose sponsored products. You should then fill the form out and make sure you select automatic. And then at the end of the page, click create campaign. Within a few hours, you should start to see your product appearing in search results in Amazon's advertising slots. And that should get you the visibility that you need to start driving those additional sales. After you've verified that your product has demand and that your product's listing is being seen by customers, thanks to keyword research and advertising, the next component that you'll want to check in order to improve your sales is your level of conversion. Your Amazon products conversion is a really important metric to monitor and improve where possible because it's the proportion of people that buy your product after they click onto your listing, which impacts your ranking position. Amazon does actually tell you what your product's conversion is, and you can see this by browsing to the business reports page and then looking at the unit session percentage column within the table that shows. Generally, a good level of conversion to aim for is anything over 20%, so one in five customers make a purchase, and a bad level of conversion is anything under 10% or one in 10 customers making a purchase. Regardless of what level of conversion you see that you have, you should always look for ways to improve it because the higher your conversion, the more sales you'll make, meaning you'll make more profit. If your conversion level is quite low, so anything under 10%, then before taking any steps, you should consider pausing all advertising campaigns that you're running until you're able to make improvements to your product and your listing. Otherwise, you're essentially burning a load of cash unnecessarily. When looking to improve your conversion in order to drive more and more Amazon sales, the best thing that you can do is to work on the strength of your product listing. Go through each and every part of it in detail. So that's your title, bullet points, description, and images and ensure that everything makes sense, it's easy to read, and it communicates the benefits and features of your product really well. Make sure that you reference competitor listings to ensure that you haven't missed anything obvious out, and always question how what you're writing helps to inform the customer and get you a sale. If it doesn't and it's just waffle, then either take what you've written out or amend it so that what you've written is actually helpful and makes the customer want to buy from you. One top tip from me is it's always worth including in your listing that you are a UK or US brand, and that's in order to pull on the customer's heartstrings a little, because ultimately customers want to support local businesses rather than big international ones. So make sure you stick that directly into your listing. One area that many Amazon sellers often pay very little attention to is the quality of their images. Images are hugely important in determining how successful your product is going to be. And in fact, I'd say that most customers, after they've clicked onto your listing, they'll in reality only view the images before actually deciding whether they want to buy. They won't even bother to read the bullet points or description that you've carefully written. So never underestimate the importance of having attractive images that communicate the benefits of your product and why the customer should buy from you. To help you put together high quality images that convert tons of customers, check out what your best selling competitors are doing and hire a really good graphics designer from websites such as Fiverr. My recommendation for an amazing editor can be found in the description of this video along with a discount code. If your budget allows, you should also consider getting a video made as this can help massively with persuading a customer to buy. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy. In fact, a simple image slideshow will actually do. It's what I've always done. It's better than nothing and it does actually convert really well. After you've gone through your listing and you've ensured that it's compelling and makes sense, the next area to assess is the price that you are charging. A big mistake that I often see is people thinking that they can charge a huge premium for their products 
just because they've stuck a logo on it. If it's not immediately obvious to a customer why your product is better than the competition, then they're not going to be prepared to pay a premium price. So when first launching especially, ensure that your product's price point has been set correctly and it's either in line or below that of your competition. Once you've been selling for a number of months and you've gained plenty of positive reviews, that is when you can start to think about charging a higher price. Your product's conversion and the sales that you can achieve are going to be hugely impacted by what customers actually think to your product. If you only have bad reviews or you don't have any at all, then this is going to put customers off from purchasing from you. So if your Amazon sales suck and they're not where you want them to be, take a look at your reviews. And if you don't have any, try to get a couple of distant family and friends. Or if you're not comfortable with that, use Amazon's Vine program. And that allows you to get up to 20 reviews in exchange for a one-time fee payable to Amazon. Reviews provide social proof and they help to build customer confidence in your brand. So the more that you can get, the more reassurance that potential buyers will have that your store is a real one, that the product is as described and that they'll get exactly what they ordered right on time. Finally, in order to increase your sales as much as possible when selling on Amazon, you need to make sure that your product offer is as differentiated from others as possible. If you're pretty much selling the exact same product as your competition and there's no discernible difference to the customer, then it's unlikely that they're going to choose you. And because of that, your sales are going to suffer. So if you're already selling a product with Amazon FBA, make sure that your listing details all of the reasons that make your product different or better, no matter how small you think they may be. If it's a bottle that's been proven to be leak proof, or it's a piece of clothing that you've ensured doesn't have poor quality stitching, then make sure that that information is included in your listing. Other areas that you can differentiate yourself on versus other sellers is by highlighting that you're a UK or US brand, that you've got great customer care and so on. If you haven't already ordered the product that you want to sell yet, then before doing so, try to find ways to differentiate what you're going to be selling. And that can possibly be done through offering a product with a unique design or bundling an additional item with the product that the customer will find of value. If you can do all of these ideas, then your customer should be able to easily distinguish your offer from all the competition, which hopefully they'll see as better, resulting in a high level of conversion and more sales for you and your business. So those are the steps that every seller should follow when looking to either diagnose poor performance on Amazon or increase their sales full stop. To summarize, first, you need to understand that there is actually demand for your product on Amazon, and then you need to work on improving visibility and conversion, both of which will, without a doubt, increase the sales that you go on to make. The Amazon marketplace is huge and full of potential, but success is not an overnight process and neither is it a walk in the park. So if you're experiencing poor performance or you just want to increase your sales to be the same as your competitors, don't give up, follow the improvement steps that I've just run through in this video, and hopefully you should see some sort of positive change. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.